We are back here in our backyard garden with another raised bed idea. And joining us today is Steve Epson with the Noble Research Institute. And Steve, thank you for joining us again. I know you've been here. Several times. Shown us several different models mm -hmm. of raised beds, but you've got another concept to share with us. Tell us a little bit about this structure. Sure, this is an old idea. We've just kind of updated uh, stacking tires to make a planter. We refer to this as our modular planter. Uh, each tire is, serves as a modular, or a module, excuse me, either a base module or a growing module. And we'll show you how to, how to put, the, put the system together in just a minute. So the nice thing about this is there's a lot of flexibility. Can you tell us a little bit about what are the pros to something like well, this? Well, this is the least expensive design that we've uh, fabricated, okay, come up with at the Noble Research Institute. It's, it's kind of um, uh, simple to build. Uh, least expensive and uh, uh, shortest time required to build this. And in, in terms of flexibility, uh, we can outfit it with all types of uh, covers, all types of trellises, because it's designed to accept and to be very versatile uh, in those covers and, and trellises. And I would imagine the different modules or mm -hmm. tires are what we were referring to when we say modules, right. can uh, change the height of yes. this also. Yeah. So if you, you want something that's a little bit higher mm -hmm. and so you don't have to bend over, so let's talk a little bit about what we've got on this one before we go into the construction. What, well, what are we looking at This here? is just a basic uh, cover. You refer to it as a mini tunnel or a small hoop house. Uh, but um, it basically can consist of some uh, uh, EMT, one half inch EMT conduit and some poly pipe. And uh, believe it or not, a shower curtain, okay? <laughs> Uh, I stole low this cost. from our bathroom this morning, oh, right? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's very low cost, but you can see it provides a little protection. Uh, these can be made uh, different sizes, elevations in terms of the cover. Uh, there's different uh, um, styles of covers besides this style that's uh, contained in our construction manual. You can read about, more about it. And, yeah. the, and the important thing about this little low tunnel is not for you to grow a tomato all season long under this as a greenhouse, just to get that early tomato, protect it from those late frosts that maybe are out yeah. there. It's protected ag. It's modified environment. It's yeah. not a controlled environment like a greenhouse. Right. Okay. And of course, we just have it open right now, yeah. but this covers ventilation. up all the way. Yes, um, you just up. got some binder clips on there. I mean, you can't get more straightforward it's, than it's that. It's very, very simple to, to build and to use. Okay. We're trying to keep it that way. All right. Well, let's go take a look at the construction sure. of one of these, if you don't mind. Sounds great. Okay, Casey, we uh, have a little demo set up uh -huh. here to kind of show you how this planter goes together. Uh, what we're looking at here is a base module, and attached to this bottom base module are the support posts. Okay. And these serve two purposes. One is to hold the stack of tires together, make sure they don't slide off, and also serve as a point of attachment in the ends here for anything we want to construct, accessorize, you know, from, from on top of the bed, okay. like our, our cover. All right, so we've got that all screwed in. What's okay, the... so we've, we've uh, we had some options here. We can either have one base module or two. We want a tall planter, then we can add another intact tire to this, uh, the, the base, okay? okay. If uh, we don't, then we need to make a decision if we want to have a floor in this or we want a floorless planter. Now, when I, what I mean by floor is a floor, <laughs> okay? So this is constructed of basically some goat panel uh -huh. and some heavyweight remesh, or okay. not remesh, landscape but uh, fabric. landscape fabric, yeah. right? Weed barrier, right? Okay, and so this will basically go down on top of that, and that will keep the the, the uh, mixture up off the ground, okay, our growing the potting soil. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so basically when you're talking about these base modules, that's just adding height. That is not anything about root zone or right. anything like that. Okay. Right, right. The base is just to support the okay. whole thing. So okay, so one tire or two depending so on your height. We're going to make this one just one tire, All right. okay, a base module, one tire. Now the other modules will, will be uh, cut, okay, we're going to cut out the, the uh, sidewalls. And so this is the first unit we'll put on and this is as you can see it's, we've had one side completely cut out mm -hmm. and we have a partial you left side wall lip on the yeah, other one. and this lip will support uh, the the floor okay? okay now in order to support that floor we still have to have some type of 
of structural members at the base. So we have actually, we're going to use... Because that hog paneling, I mean, there's going to be a lot of weight, so that hog paneling right. is not enough, so you've got... Right. The, we're, okay. we're going to have to have some two before, some okay. cross members to support that weight. Okay. Okay? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put two in the middle here, right. and that goes completely across, and then we'll go ahead and put our first growing module in. Okay. Okay? And you see how that kind of gets that up off... The other one, this is a little portal around the edge here. This acts as a ventilation. And then we'll also put some blocks in. And that'll help support okay. the, the growing module, right? And we go all the way around. And then we'll take our, our floor, place it inside here. And that will allow us to put our growing mix in, all right? Now, if you don't want to use the floor, save some money, it is acceptable to just fill the entire base with wood chips okay. uh, or some base bark mulch. So something, if you just had some utility mulch or something right. like that. And the reason we want to use that is so uh, save some money and also it'll serve as a screen. So uh, we don't want our growing mix just all disappear through our little vent holes in the bottom here. Okay, okay so, so we'll fill that all the way up to about halfway up this first growing module. Okay, so we'd still put the wood, the cross member maybe doesn't matter as much. The cross members, the two center ones can come out. Okay, but you still need the exterior one to allow for drainage, air and flow. aeration. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Because I would imagine these do get hot, right? I mean, they do get warm. Yes. Yes. And okay. so we want to vent them as much as possible. Some people will paint them white. You can also put some uh, luminized insulation uh, around the outside to reflect the sunlight. But, you know, we haven't had any big issues with this. As mm -hmm. long as you keep the soil moist, then the plant's growing abundantly where they have the size to shade the, the right. container, okay? okay? The west sun is the, the biggest problem. So we're ready okay. for our floor? Yep, we'll put this in. That's if we're going to use the growing mix, right, and mm -hmm. have the floor. And then our last module goes right on top of that. <clears throat> as such. So and this got, one doesn't have the lip. You've cut it clean on right. both sides. So. so we have all this surface area free now so we can plant. Yeah, so this is a good volume of soil for those plants to grow in yeah. so you wouldn't have to be watering them quite as much. The shallower, obviously, you're going to have to water them. Yeah, more. you're going to have 14 inches of soil in here. Yeah. When you Even when you account uh, for your mulch material, if you don't have the floor, if you have the floor, then you can have even more. You know, this, <laughs> we're looking at almost 20 inches there. Right. So, growing medium. and again, if you wanted to go higher, then you would add another base, base model, model, not you don't adding need, more soil. Right, that's overkill. Right, okay. It's too expensive. So what do we have here? A couple of different pipe options. We're going to make a trellis. Real quick, show okay. you how to do that. We're going to insert this. And this keeps it from rotating when we put our string on so that it doesn't spin in the column. And, and you have screws down below, but those aren't actually going into the tires. That's just to hold that as a floor. That just holds right? it up. Okay. Yeah, that's the base of the post. Okay. Uh-huh. That takes care of that. Then we're going to so connect the two. You put your screws on the outside, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. That way they don't interfere with anything. They, we actually will lap the string around the post, so this helps uh, with that hold process. Okay. Uh-huh. You don't need to attach this, just slip this. That's your spreader post. This makes one trellis frame now. And then what we'll do is we'll use, there's several ways you can do this. You can actually attach a piece of wire to this, some remesh. And I think I've got that around here somewhere. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Okay, this is one op option. Okay, if you're growing some cucurbit, some cucumbers, or some, uh, some uh, beans, Peas, okay, some sh then you can attach it just to the frame this way, okay? okay. And you can use some tie downs, whatever you want to do, okay? That's one option. Of course, you could make this a little higher if you'd like, depending on what you're growing. Right. Okay? okay. Now, this is a, uh, a technique we use for our peppers and our tomatoes, okay? So we will wrap, just we've got a loop there, okay? Now I'm going to walk around this. And this is one way of doing this is quick. Okay. okay. You can tie individual levels, but I kind of like to just do it this way. And what's the kinda spacing you the, on your screws? About oh, five, six, six inches? inches? Okay. Yeah.
you try to keep it tight. And you're doing two uh, links mm -hmm. each time. Right, so we're making a cage, okay. a skinny cage. Yeah, that's a quick way to make a trellis mm -hmm. there. That's it in a nutshell. Okay. As the tomatoes grow, you just work the terminal and the foliage through here. Okay? And, and that's pretty and for, much it. For this size can, uh, tire, obviously they might mm -hmm. vary in size of tires, but for this one, two tomatoes? Two tomatoes, okay. right. Yeah, it will, a tire size, a module this big, it's about 32 inches across. Yeah, we can grow two, two tomatoes in this. I've got another trellis option. Okay. Let's save for peppers. All right. Okay, so we're going to smaller train plant. Those up. You might smaller be able to put plant. more in we're here. We're going to put four four pepper plants in okay. this particular container. All right. So we're going to let's do these two right across from each other. The same concept, right? We're going to have spreaders for this set, this row, and spreader for that one, and then we'll run the twine. Okay. And then we'll have two two peppers plants evenly spaced then, between each row of, of twine. Okay, so basically you've got two rows yeah. of twine in there for yeah. the peppers. Yeah. So Steve, it looks like there's a lot of options for this with trellising for peppers, tomatoes, and then also the hoop house, the low tunnel as we saw earlier. So this is a great option. Now I know tires are tires, they're gonna outlive us, but tell us a little bit about what we can do to maybe dress this up yeah, if we wanted to. It is ugly, no frills, I understand that. So we can either paint it you can paint it terracotta, you can paint it white to reflect the sun, you can paint it, let your kids paint rainbows on them, and, you know, or giraffes, whatever. Uh, even put some, uh, some wood, uh, maybe some, uh, like some old uh, stockade fence, you know, uh, yeah. panels or two buys. But yes, you can do something to dress it up. All if right. You want to. But otherwise, low cost, easy right. to make raised bed. Very versatile and cheap. Excellent. Thanks for, cheap. Yeah. thanks for sharing with us, okay. Steve. You bet. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.